few thought it even had a chance of passing. Free the spores! Free the spores! But when Denver voters gave decriminalization the green light, journalists wanted to understand the underground mushroom world. That led the Denver Post, Westward, Vice News, NPR, and Harvest Public Media to track down a Denver man who grows mushrooms in his apartment and then sells them. All of the outlets agreed to keep him anonymous. The featured grower instead referred to himself as Douglas. Douglas also claimed to work in the cannabis industry. DEA agents ran the name Douglas through a state database of cannabis industry employees. They found a Cole Douglas Milner who posted on social media about mushrooms. He also posted photos of his apartment that agents say look like the one in news stories. The cultivator seen in those articles is wearing a t-shirt with a custom logo on it. It says Happy Fox Edibles. Agents did a reverse image search, which led them to the designer who was paid on Venmo by Milner for graphics. That very same graphic is also hanging on the walls of Cole Milner's apartment seen on social media. So agents surprised Milner on September 11th. They confiscated 906 live psilocybin mushrooms from his apartment and more than 20 ounces of dried mushrooms. The person in news interviews claimed he was selling three and a half grams at a time for 30 bucks. The dried mushrooms alone amounts to 161 servings, worth about $4,800. I was able to get a hold of Milner. As you, can, you may understand, he, he doesn't want to do any interviews right now. He has not been arrested or charged yet, though. The U.S. District Attorney's Office says there's still an open investigation. Couldn't comment more than that, but those charges could be coming, Alex. All right, Ryan, thank you.